Previously on Dark Souls Arc Thrones. Okay, you pulled a dark lurker. Holy shit. No, not the birds. We're back in Dark Souls 2. Did he just sniff me? Dude, this is crazy. Once again. Grrr. Oh shit, it's Juzo. Uh, that looks suspiciously like a boss arena. Yep. Hold it. Oh, did I stagger him out of the drink? Okay. <laughs> if he's just gonna stand there trying to get drinks, I, I'll just keep hitting him. <laughs> uh, there's still some other items to grab. Although there might be... like a bonfire through this gate here. And I was correct. That's convenient. Uh, I should probably go back and level. <laughs> Oh, you moved. Hello. Ah, you again. Thank you for defeating that awful brute. That awful brute. To access the crypt, you must awaken Obidaya. A loud enough noise should dampen his focus, such as the five ritual bells. Oh, that looks like... Is there a ladder up? Or is that somewhere that I'll get to later? Hang on, that's a bell! How do I get to you? Ah, shit! There's also another Juzo over there. Wait, I just realized where I fought the first Juzo, there was probably one of the bells there. I think I need to go back. Nothing like uh, going for a nice run in the desert. The constant... Sand going everywhere is, uh, I hear it's great for, like, exfoliating the skin. Uh, let's see, where was the first two so I am, uh, uh, kind of lost. Oh, wait, no, back here. This is where the first two so was. Alright. Now I'm just gonna run away. Because <laughs> I'm out of heals. Oh, man, there's, there's, like, another, there's, like, a mine area back there, it looks like. This area is huge. I guess I'll just fight this Juzo and ring this bell. <laughs> That's not the usual sound effect for that attack from Sekiro. Alright, bell number two. Two of five. Ah, stupid cricket! Get out of here! Nobody likes you. Ah, God. Well, that's uh, quite a few enemies there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is, it seems, looks like it's like a... Followers of Baron... Like, War Camp. That's uh, uh, quite a few Abyss Watchers, actually. They don't seem hostile. But those are kind of also famous last words. You know, when they all get up and start trying to kill me. <laughs> Ah, yes. The desert crabs. <laughs> Little crab. Ow! Shit! The smart move would probably be to go back to the bonfire and not just keep pressing on into un uncharted territory. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, there's another bell. And another Juzo. <clears throat> oh, I know what I could do for a heal. I haven't used any embers in a while. Oh, God cameras outside of the freaking building. Ew, what the hell did you just spit at me? What the hell is this man drinking? Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, I guess it was acid surge. <laughs> ah, and I got a heal back. Alright, that's three of five. See, what did I say? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We got an undead bone shard. Got another heal back. I think that might be it for this, like, wide open area. Oh, shit! Hello! <laughs> Get out of here. I'm trying to rest at the bonfire, you dick. Hello again, not more we got. This is found within stagnant dark souls.
He said the thing! What do we want to mix this time? Hang on. I got an idea. This one prevents staggering from certain attacks for some time. And this one increases damage absorption for some time. If those two mix together... I wonder how broken that would be. Haha. <laughs> I, I do actually kind of like that, that... The, uh... Tied guard counters to getting like a well-timed block. And not just blocking itself. It's kind of an interesting spin on it. Oop, later. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm glad I looked before I just started walking over to that item. Because there's no floor there. Hang on. This is almost- there's a cave in Elden Ring that has almost the same layout. Although it's- the layout is very slightly different because... You can oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> this is basically just the map of one of the tunnels in Elden Ring. I forget which one it is. It's it's in Lyurnia. Bonfire. Yeah, this and this room would normally have. What's the sorcery? Wow, that you did not put up much of a fight. <laughs> it's uh, an interesting red glow there. Hmm. Wonder what you are. Guess we're about to find out. Chaos amalgamate. Wait! It's an undead giant from the... Chalice Dungeon! Luckily, it's not the uh, version with the ball... Ch the, the... Chain... Balls... On its back. That guy sucks! Holy shit! Oh, okay. I wasn't... I thought that the first bit was going to be all there was to that attack. I wasn't expecting the secondary explosion. Ow. Gosh, shit. Oh, God. This is kind of has been kind of fun, though, like, figuring out what... <laughs> what, uh, like... Past from soft enemy, the different like bosses and stuff are. Forgot about my uh, new flask assignment that I put it uh, assignment, my new flask uh, that I made with tankiness in mind. Okay, it doesn't matter because I didn't even get hit after using it. <laughs> Soul of the Chaos Amalgamate. There also was not a bell down here. Although, actually, what I can do with some of these souls that we now have from the boss is, um... I got a couple little Titanite scales from the giant crystal lizard over there, and then... What, what are you doing, Gorgle? So I can actually upgrade the big axe I got. Although, it's probably still gonna be down on damage anyway, just because, like, now this is up to plus four. But I guess we'll see. Ah, dude, what? Eh, maybe not. Alright, let's give it a good go. Actually, I still have like 8600. I should level again. Really? Only a single point of more damage? Yeah, I guess I want to go here. And maybe the last two bells I need to ring are just in the... There's like a side passage in this temple here. Uh... Uh... Oh god, there's ghosts. So, yeah, that's the fume knight's armor and weapons. Interesting. So uh, she warned. She told me that I needed to ring the bells, but she. Why didn't she warn me about the freaking ghosts? I would think that those would be worth noting. Hey, this place is freaking haunted, by the way. Just a heads up. Ah, there's a bell.
<laughs> uh, yeah, so I am still in the, uh, <laughs> Dark Souls of Mexico, or Mexico of Dark Souls. It's a pretty nice view here. Okay, I'm, I'm still missing a bell. Where did I miss the bell? Plus, there's also, like, an, maybe another path in here. Oh, there is another path this way. Okay. Ah, shit, another ghost. Ah, ghost. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. It's one of, the, one of the guillotines from the chalice dungeons. Trying to look if there's... Oh, I did get some prism stones. Let me toss a prism stone. Hmm. You know, usually it makes a different sound if it's a deadly fall. Yeah! Get! <laughs> the prism stones lied to me! <laughs> That's not supposed to happen! Ah, shit. Uh. 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 No, why did he jump? What? What are you doing, Grunkle? I keep forgetting that that's there. Okay, what was the timing on this? Not that. Okay. Ah, shit! Ah, shit. I got followed. Oh, all three of them followed me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Shit. God damn it. Fuck me. Okay, finally. I learned. Final bell. The necromancer awaits you. Oh, hello. Obadiah. It's a cool looking sword you got. That yeah, hey. Okay, then. <laughs> Great first attempt there. Nice. Ah, not nice. Damn. Ah. Got. Okay, yeah, my weapon's too big for me to try to make any anything out of openings like that. <laughs> oh great, he has he called in the skeleton posse. Holy shit, there's a lot of skeletons! Okay, he can damage his skeletons, but oh, oh my god! <laughs> It just started a fucking skeleton party! Okay, that was a Malakath attack there. At least, like, the, the animation for it. It wasn't entirely the same. Fuck! Oh my god. Uh, I'm almost feeling like maybe my other... Great sword it might be a bit better for this fight just because it's quicker. Fuck! God, I thought I could iframe the AoE. God, that attack gets me like every time. Oh, okay, he didn't get stacked. <laughs> 
He didn't get staggered out of the follow-up, which uh, really um, gave him a pretty big opening to do damage to me. <laughs> okay, I guess to avoid the second attack and that double swipe, you do just kind of have to just ah, fuck. be hammering on the dodge button. I can't! Uh. I'm curious to know if he's parryable. Well, maybe I should put my other sword on so I don't have to get, like, naked. Nope. God damn it. Nope. Nope. I still have not decided if I'm just not timing it right or if he's not parryable. Nope. I'm leaning towards not parryable. Not parryable. Nope. That fucking combo, man. Ha <laughs> ha I think that's the first time I've actually avoided that attack. Ah, fuck. I didn't avoid it that time. Haha. Oh, that was his skelly summon. God, so many skeletons! God! Seems like it might be slightly overkill with the number of skeletons. Although maybe this is kind of an opportunity because he does seem to be a lot more passive when his skeletons are in. But maybe that's just because I'm kind of far away. And he would get more aggressive if I, like, got up close to him. Ow. Yeah, he's definitely, like, yeah, once I get up close to him, he's getting aggressive again. Fuck! I, like, briefly switched to my other sword. Let me maybe bring that back. So this one's a bit quicker. Uh, that might... That might help out. Ow. Okay, that was a different flame follow-up than usual. Okay. Ah, fuck. Ah. So he has two different, like, flame follow-ups to that, that one of the really quick combo that gets me a lot. One of them you need to roll backwards on. But the other one you, I guess, need to roll into him for. It's just a little hard to tell which one he's going to be doing in, in the moment. Ah! Okay. Ugh. I didn't remember that having a follow-up. Damn it! I lost the timing for that. Ah. Ah! God damn it, you got me with the fucking Ichimanji. Okay, now I'm gonna die. Went for the perfect guard didn't work so yeah th th this is really tough but like it is like well made it doesn't feel like it's bullshit i think his, his big thing is just that he has some combos that are really quick shit i forgot about the follow-up and sometimes he does follow-ups to attacks and sometimes he doesn't do the follow-up i think they might have like tweaked some of the ai a bit <laughs> 
Because, like, it, 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 that's the thing in Elden Ring compared to, like, some of the other games, is that... Bosses have, like, a lot more... Fuck. A lot more chances to, like, just not do parts of combos. And it, it seems like they maybe implemented that in the AI and the mod. No, oh, I'm out of stamina. That's why I couldn't get the attack there. Fuck! God damn it. The attack was still going. <laughs> ah! Where the fuck did you come from? Oh shit. I didn't know that there was going to be more fire coming. Uh. Maybe the time to use the Ember is, like, after I kill these two skeletons and I'm kind of waiting for him to get into aggro mode again. Okay, I thought that might hit me. Combo was not over. Why do I keep expecting him to do two quick slashes there? Ah, the goddamn Malakath attack! Okay. I think that might just be the regular follow-up from the, uh, the Moog Slam. Aha! Yes, that is just the follow-up to the Moog Slam. Fuck. Except now it appears that Phase 2- Ah, uh, fuck! Phase 2 has the Black Flame Wave attack as a follow-up to the follow-up. Man, why can I not read that attack right? Like, I even recognize it from Elden Ring as the Malakath Black Blade attack. Seriously, what, I don't know what the animation there is for that flash attack, but every time he does it, I'm just, like, subconsciously expecting a follow-up. Oh, that one, that time it did have two slashes to it. Fuck! Ah, oh, I think that's probably the best attempt yet. Oh, that still kind of got me? Fuck! I feel like I've barely done any damage. And he's just, like, whittled down all of my heal. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck me! Fuck me! This happens every time I get to phase two! He just starts fucking wombo comboing me. And I can't get any fucking damage in. Holy shit, I actually dodged that attack for once. The Malekith attack! The fucking Malekith attack! Like I said, I don't, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time reading the, uh, the Malekith attack. Cause I don't typically have too much trouble reading it in, like, the actual Malekith fight. Oh my god. Out of time. Whew. 
fuck. God damn it. Ow. Okay. I still got tickled by the AOE. Yes! Finally! <sighs> God damn! Necromancer's Kindling and Soul of Necromancer Obadiah. That was a... That was a pretty cool fight. I knew you could do it. What? Do you want me to say I'm proud of you? Yes. <laughs> Farewell. Be sure to make good use of my flame. Okay. Well, see you later, mommy. I mean, uh, whatever your name is. I mean, uh, bye. Hey, Edit Photon here. Just at the end here, I wanted to mention a few things related to both this series and edited content as a whole going forward. But before getting to that, if you're actually hearing this right now, what I'm what I'm saying to you, thanks for watching all the way to this point in the video. I, re I really appreciate it. Now, getting to what I wanted to discuss, with a certain game expansion set to release very soon, which will eat up basically all of my free time, and since the you know, the time between videos has already been getting kind of long. I figured it would be best to end the Arch Thrones demo series here, but this did feel like it was a good place to end things, since I think this boss that I've been fighting here is a great example of just how incredible even just this demo is. I would highly recommend you go check out the demo and play it through for yourself. As always, there's a link to it in the description below this video. If you are interested in seeing more from my playthrough, there's actually an entire second stream that I didn't get to in the edit, and I'll also leave a link to that in the description. Now, moving on, in response to how long it's been taking for me to get videos out, I've decided to experiment a bit with the editing style of my videos. The main thing with this will be that I'm planning to do more runs as somewhat longer one-off videos. See the editing of my Sekiro Deathless Resurrectionless run that I did a few months ago. I figured this way my content will feel a lot less disjointed since, you know, when it randomly takes me uh, an entire month to get a video out, it'll all be one self-contained package, you know? Also. It is worth mentioning that if you would like to see more of me, I've actually been streaming weekly at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Sundays, right here on YouTube. So feel free to stop by and say hi. Or, you know, stick around longer. You don't just have to stop in and say hi. With all of that out of the way, you're still watching after this massive fucking monologue. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next video. Even when I'm just recording B-roll, fucking gravity.